Hi, Stan Yan here, author and illustrator of the upcoming children's book, There's a Zombie in the Basement, inspired by my son's fear of my zombie caricature artwork. I'm recording this video as a sample tutorial of what my backers will be getting once we are funded. In this lesson, I'm showing you how to make a blue line version of my pages, which I will also print out so that I can ink each character and object by hand, which I in turn will light box onto watercolor paper, where I'll apply ink washes and colored pencil. I will scan them back in and combine them back into my page. That's how the finished colored pages from my Kickstarter campaign video were done. While I planned all these pages digitally, I really love the look of traditionally rendered art with all of their imperfections, so that's why I'm doing this. Alright, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know I'm working on an older version of Photoshop. It's uh, Creative Suite 4. Um, so these are, uh, this is the original illustration that, uh, or sketch that I planned out on Photoshop on multiple layers. So the first thing I'm going to do here, you can see, is got rid of the dog. I'm getting rid of all the shading. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is flatten all of these layers onto one just line art image, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, print in a blue line and um, hand ink over. So uh, you can see here I had actually designed this more ornate uh, headboard and footboard that looks a little bit like a skeleton. Uh, in the finished artwork um, you might have noticed that it wasn't as plain as in the sketches here. So I'm going to go ahead and just plop those in real quick and then um, let's get rid of the background. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is merge all of these layers together. So if you go to, um, oh wait, I don't want to flatten the images, but if you go, so let's undo that, Command Z, and I'm just going to right click and go down to Merge Layers, and there we go. We've got it all under one layer. So go up to Adjustments now, and uh, Selective Color. And from the presets, there's blue line, and voila, we've converted that all to a blue line. But I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity down to about 30%, um, because otherwise I feel like it prints it too dark. So I just need kind of a light printout. Now in setting up my printer, which is a, uh, a large format printer that will print on 11 by 17 paper, I set it for tabloid. I'm going to scale it to um, fit page so that I have a larger illustration to print from. And then I'm going to um, make sure that uh, I don't use my last use settings. I don't want to print that many. Um, I want to make sure that I select the tray, the correct tray. I'm using plain paper. And I'm going to do four copies, so that way um, I've got several different layers, so I can ink the headboard and footboard separately, um, you know, Milo separately, the mom and dad separately. I will do the inking, watercolors and colored pencil, and scanning and combining in a future demo. But you'll have to make sure to back this project or get others to back this so we can reach our goal before this ends in about a week from when this was recorded. So hopefully you can see this. This is the four pages that I'm going to be inking off of. So remember to share my project because sharing gets you entered into a contest to win your local school a chance to have me visit for free.